Hey guys, are you ready for more Gods Will Be Watching? I hope so, because it's time for episode 4. Let's make this happen. Chapter 4. Gods Will Be Watching. This is the titular scenario. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Anyway, let's read some dialogue, starting off with Jack here. With his... Fuck. Fuck. Fucking Xenolifer. Fuck them. You should have let me kill him, Burton. Liam's death achieves nothing. We have to be better than revenge. Achieves nothing? Oh man, I think everyone would be a lot happier if that bastard was dead right about now. The soldier has a point there, Burton. Agreed. I swore to save every life, but I can think of a lot of uses for Liam's corpse right now. Okay, people. If rage keeps you alive, that's fine with me. But we have to focus on getting off this planet. Donald, do you think that broken radio will do the job? It's gonna be hard, but I think Brandon and I can fix it in time. If I remember correctly, emergency protocols dictate that an orbital convoy will cross this radio's frequency radius every 14 months. 14 months? Easy there. Based on my calculations, the orbital convoy will be within reach in the next 23 days. If we can get a signal out before then, there's a chance we can be saved. It sounds good, but if we don't manage to repair the radio in time, we'll be stuck here for a year. Sounds doable. We can do this, team. If hunger doesn't kill us first, or we become infected by the Medusia virus, or break down under the pressure, or before we're hunted down by wild predators. So, we've got a few threats, but, um, it's fine. So for any of you guys that have played the free sort of prototype version of this game, you might recognize this scenario. It's been changed up a bit, but uh, fundamentally it's pretty similar. Let's make it happen. I guess first we have to finish all this dialogue. Was that it? I think there's more. There it is. Let's start working. Days on Cenesos are pretty short, and this part of the planet only gets about five hours of light before sunset. So, if I manage the team's time well, we'll be able to perform five tasks a day. Conversations are time-consuming, so let's focus on the tasks at hand. I don't think that's a good idea. You should really make talking with us a high priority. We're already on edge because of Xenolifer's attack. So some military attitude won't work here, Sergeant. Okay, okay. I'll look after your delicate morale. Anyway, days are still short, so always keep that in mind. You can only perform five tasks a day. Don't waste more time. Let's survive, team. So yep, here it is. Classic Gods Will Be Watching with the uh, best music in the game, too, I think. Maybe I just think that out of, um, you know remembering playing the prototype, having fun, nostalgia and all. But no, I do like this. So first thing we need to do is get the campfire lit, because if you have no campfire, you freeze to death overnight. So our first action is going to be tossing some wood in there, and then shooting that wood. So that is uh, two of five actions already, but we can survive the night, so we're good. We're pretty decent on food, got enough ammo to go for a while. Antidotes are needed, and we're going to need to get that radio repaired. We can request information from Brandon, and he'll give us everyone's morale, an error for ourselves, spooky stuff. But yeah, everyone's looking good on day one. We've got um, other options too, like Brandon can repair the radio, or we can destroy him to get more ammo if we're running out. Same with everyone else. We can talk to them, get morale up. They have a few special actions for Donald, he's got repair radio. Or we can kill them and cannibalize them, which is fun stuff. We can ask um, Sarah about stuff. 
get some more dialogue out of the way. Let me give you some advice on how to deal with morale. Let's ask about crew member morale. We're on the verge here, Sarge. Madness is our worst enemy in this situation. With so few chances to survive, it's hard to maintain hope. You need to give us a reason to keep going. Talking to any of us will consume valuable daylight we could be using to work. But morale may be more important than food or ammo in this situation. I don't think our chances are that low. Don't worry, Sarah. I'll do my best. You know how to treat a lady, Burden. Heh, <laughs> comes with the job, I guess. Let's get some more dialogue. Pep talks. The team really looks up to you, Burden. If you choose your words wisely, you can ease our fears, especially at night when all of our nightmares rear their heads. Uh, dinner pep talk is always a great way to boost morale. But understand, these pep talks are a double-edged sword. You don't want to expose undiscovered fears. For example, if no one passed away recently, it's not a good idea to talk about death. I see. So, if I make a speech about repairing the radio, <laughs> Donald will be very motivated and you'll boost his morale considerably. Gotcha. Zedness can prepare medicine, which we're going to want to do since we have none right now. So, let's ask him for that for our third action. There he is, grinding away. We have two antidotes. So that's a great start, normally he only makes one. With Marvin, we can pet as a free action. Good stuff. He can also hunt. Jack can also hunt either with his rifle or with a spear, but for that we need spears first. So what I'm going to do is um, gather some wood so Jack can make spears, then have him make some spears so they'll be ready for tomorrow. And then we should be good for the day. So get wood. Day's about to end, sun is too low, insufficient cell power supply detected. So yeah, Brandon's only functional during the day now. We got four wood logs. Good stuff. Let's have Jack make those spears. There he is. Whittling. And looks like we got two. This is a new thing that wasn't in the prototype. You have to ration food. So yeah, dinner time. Let's split the food. Ration for Marvin. We have 17 raw meat left. So I'll just give everyone a piece of raw meat for today. Good stuff. Hang in there, guys. We'll do this. Maybe one of us should spend the night working. So like if I click uh, Brandon repair the radio, Donald will call me a dumb idiot. Brandon's autonomy system got pretty fucked up from messing with the cave computer. Now he can barely work with Seneso's solar power. So that's our explanation for why we can't have Brandon just do everything. So, um... I'm gonna have Jack go hunt, I suppose. With the spear, I don't want to use any ammo. Not letting people get sleep is bad for their morale, but Jack's got really high morale. He can do it. Yeah. Okay, sir, I got this, is what he's saying. Let's hope he do got this. Let's hope he does have this. That's what I meant. Got us two rations of food, but I lost my spear. Could be better, but, uh, whatever. Zaness isn't looking too happy. Let's, uh, check those morale ratings. No, they look fine. So I'm thinking I want to, um... Hmm, maybe get started on the radio repairs? Yeah, I think that, uh, might be the best idea right now. That, or get some food cooking, get some more spears made. Now I'll start by cooking food. 
That's a new thing, too. Cartoon meat. Good stuff. Got three meals. I'm gonna make some more. Cook for days. Got five meals. So yeah, we're good on food for now. Let's get uh, started with those repairs. Still a lot of work to do. Yep, 5% of the way there. Let's keep at it some more. Brandon's shutting down for the last action. Repair some more. It's not urgent that you get that done quickly, but uh, it's nice to have it out of the way. So, food for today. I found a good way to save food is to um, not feed Marvin all the time. Like every other day is fine. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to give everyone else cooked food today. Those cooked meals look really nice. Marvin looks sad. You can do it, pup. And I'll have Jack go hunting again. I believe in you, Jack. You can do it. Okay, I guess he couldn't do it. Well, we're, uh... Good on food for the day, but we're out of spears. Low on wood, and morale looks pretty low. Let's get information. Yeah, Zaness is not in good shape at all. Fire is dying down as well. So I'm gonna prepare a pep talk, I suppose, about teamwork. It's good stuff. And write these words down exactly as I say. So this takes, um, three hours, I believe. It was costful, but it'll be worth it. Thank you for taking the time to prepare a pep talk. Won't let the team down. Damn straight, yo. So I'm thinking I will get, um... What? Add wood here. And then maybe fetch some more wood? That might be the best idea, yeah. Is it? No, but I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. So Jack won't be able to spear hunt this night, so I'll just have Donald repair, I suppose. His morale is a bit more fragile than Jack's, so... I don't really want him doing night work often, but once in a while should be fine. Marvin gets some raw meat today. Everyone else gets cooked food. You don't actually have to eat yourself because reasons. And let's talk about teamwork. We need to stick together. We're a machine. A machine which can provide us food, warmth, health, and safety. But most of all, we are a machine which can provide us freedom. A future. But I need all the pieces working at their best. If you give me that, no one will be left behind. If you can give me that, I can can... I forgot how to words. If you can give me that, I can guarantee you we will get off this planet. You know you can count on me, Sarge. That's the spirit burden. I'm glad to have you as a leader. Totally agree. Teamwork is what human prosperity is all about. We're well prepared, Everdusk team. We can do this. Damn straight, boy! Yeah, let's have Donald repair. 
Oh shit, okay, I'll do my best in these poor lighting conditions. You don't s need sleep, boyo. Worked on the radio last night, closer to being saved now. Yep, it's at 20%. Morale's looking better, but food is low now. Oh Christ, no, Donald is really bad on morale. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have had him working at night. I do have enough food for everyone, though, if everyone just eats raw. And I work on getting morale up. Yeah. Jack is still good on morale, so I think I actually will have him hunt tonight just with his rifle. And I'll spend time talking to Donald and Zaness. Yeah, let's do that. Should I get another pep talk ready? Sure. Yeah. Let's do that. About saving the world this time. Or repairing the radio, rather. So, we've got that ready. And we're gonna need to cheer Zaness up a bit. So let's, um, I guess we don't have to talk to Donald, because his morale is going to go up anyway. But we do have to talk to Zaness. And we can, um, make some spears too, I guess? Yeah, let's do that so I don't have to use the rifle tonight. Okay. Oh, clicked the wrong thing. Make spear. There we go. Got two of them again. Good stuff. I don't remember if I fed Marvin last night. I think I did. Let's give everyone else some food. and talk about repairing that radio. We feel safe having trained soldiers in the camp. Having doctors around gives us comfort. We know who to rely on if we need help. But you know what the most important thing is out here? That fucking radio. Because doctors, and us soldiers, we can keep this camp alive. But our only way out of here is in that broken fucking toaster. So let's fix it and go back to our homelands in one piece. Yeah, sure. Come on, Donald, you can do this. A true instrument of hope, that radio. Yes, I will save you all, trust me. He's pumped. And let's have Jack do some spear hunting. He got this. He failed in hunting again. Morale is... okay. Zaness and Sarah aren't in good shape, really. Sarah's fine, but low. But we definitely need to talk to Zaness. This is an everlasting cigarette. It's harmless, but tastes just like the ones from the good old days. Cool stuff. Sarah, you're fine. Let's have, um, Jack spear hunt a bit. You can hear the birds fluttering around there. Four rations, but lost the spear. That's enough for everyone. So we can cook, I suppose. three meals, so one person won't get cooked food today, and I guess that's Jack. I 
I have three actions left, right? I can, um... Just hunt some more, try to get the food situation settled. Let's do that. Oh, I guess two actions. Well, two, three, same thing, right? Two rations, that's... Not the biggest amount. But, um... At least I won't have to worry about food tomorrow, I suppose. Then I can worry about either morale or repairs. Three rations and lost the spear again. Alright. Guy needs to be more careful with the spears. Raw meat for Jack. And cooked for everyone else. And, um... Should I have Jack go hunt? Yeah, I will. Let's see how he did. Wasted three bullets and failed. Well, that's pretty much our worst possible result. Morale is terrible. So we definitely need that pep talk about saving the world. Fire is dying down also, so let's add some wood. You don't want it to actually ever die because then you have to waste an action um, starting the fire. So now with our last action for the day, we can um, make spears? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. He made three this time. I really should write down somewhere if I fed Marvin last night or not, because I never remember. So, erring on the side of caution this time. And talk about saving the world. I know your biggest concern right now is if you're going to survive this planet. If you're going to return to the peace of your homes. Enjoy the taste of your liquors, watch your favorite shows, see your friends again. It'll even be a good time to pay a visit to your relatives. Enjoy the thought of that second chance. Relish in it. But you know what? None of that will matter if we don't stop Xenolifer. We all know what the Medusia virus is capable of. Imagine if that toxin spread all over our homelands. We don't know what Xenolifer's plans are. But even if there's the slightest chance of our homeworlds being endangered, that's enough reason to survive, to fight. And just reading this is making me feel really cool. Being a motivational speaker or something must be fun. Let's move on. We are going to get off this planet and stop them, because we're the only ones who can. Because it's our duty. Because we have the cure for the Medusia virus. So you all have a choice. You can be a forgotten corpse and let our beloved civilization tremble at the threat of the Medusia virus. Or we can stay alive and become heroes. Saviors. Sir, yes, sir. I've never been a fan of things like duty and honor, but you had a point there. We gave those terrorists the tools. It's our responsibility to stop them. Wow, I feel important now. We can do this, guys. And let's, um, try to get some food. Sarah broke down and ran into the woods. We probably won't be seeing her again. I'm sorry. Donald probably isn't too happy about that. Yeah, understandably so, I suppose. So let's use our time 
bringing his and Zaness's morale up. At least now you don't have to uh, worry about food as much. My love, how could I let this happen? Yeah. Yeah. Is that cheering him up at all? It is. Kill me now and make a feast of my body. You won't be hungry for a month, damn it. Kill my fat ass and let me be with her again. Christ, that's a bit depressing. You have to cheer Zaness up as well. Could probably have avoided this if someone had managed the camp better. Thanks, Doc. But there's no point in pointing fingers. Let's at least give everyone a good meal today. We need wood. Okay, I guess we can't give everyone a good meal today. Let's get wood. That might not have been the right move. Watch as both the Doctor and Donald run off now. Nothing for Marvin tonight. Hang in there, guys. We'll do this. Let's just let everyone chill tonight. We're doing okay, but we should rest while we can. That's not a good sound. At all. How's morale? Really bad. Excessively bad. Well, let's talk to some dudes. Death, nature's own terror. Yep. We want enough food for the night. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it this game. Three rations. That's enough for everyone. And let's make some spears, because they are helpful to have when you hear that noise. I've got five. Make some more. Food for everyone tonight. And let's just chill. Let's see how many people we lose. We lost Jack. Wasted seven spears. Okay. So, uh, we just lost. Because, um... Jack is the only one who can protect you from predators. Meaning, um... If they come again, then... We're dead. So, um... Yeah, I guess that's it for this run-through. Let's just, uh... Kill everyone. For laughs, I guess. This isn't very laughs at all. And, um... Let's shoot the wood, too, while we're on a shooting spree. Or I guess not. Let's, uh... 
cook up our bros. Here's a uh, burden going mad too. Yep. And uh, yeah, there you go. When you lose people, Burton commits suicide. Attitude has been cruel. Alright, so the plan is not to mess up this time. Sound good? Let's do it. Add wood. Shoot wood. We're good on food. Let's prepare medicine. Sweet, we got two again. Then let's get wood and make spears. Starting off the same way. Oh, got five wood this time. Yep, good stuff. Food for everyone. And let's hunt. Try to keep the food situation stable. You lost the spear and didn't get food, I think. I clicked through that too fast, I didn't see it. Morale's fine. So let's, um... Let's do what? Cook, maybe? Four meals. That's enough for a day. Then we should do, um one or two repairs and get some more food, I suppose. Let's, um... Just make sure we get up to 12 food, I want to say. 12 raw, that is. And then spend the rest of the time repairing see if that's a good idea or not. Cooking takes up wood also. Two rations, but we have no spears. Let's make more. Chop chop. And let's hunt. Damn it. Nothing for Marvin today. Cooked for everyone else. And let's do more hunting. Got three food. So we're good on that front. Morale is poor. Let's prepare a talk, I suppose. Teamwork. Let's cook for a bit. Got the pep talk. And we got how much meat? Three. So not everyone gets cooked food today. I'm gonna say none for Jack, just because he's good on morale. And let's do a repair. Out of work, yep.
So, raw for Marvin today. Raw for Jack. Cooked for Sarah. Cooked for Zaness. And cooked for Donald. And talk about teamwork. I'll just skip through this since we've seen it. And, um... I'll let everyone rest today. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to work Jack at night multiple days consecutively. Maybe it doesn't make a difference, but... Eh, we're good on food, so we can rest. Twenty days to go. Fire's dying down. Morale's fine, other than Zaness. So... Add wood. Let's talk to Zaness twice. Corpses from the Medusia victims are highly contagious. We should burn them if the time comes. So if someone dies from the virus, you get um, no meat. Talk some more. Our research has proved that a person's physiology will freeze when infected with the Medusia virus, with the victim having no sense of hunger or feeling. That's actually a good thing, because if someone gets infected, you could just leave them like that for a bit. Not so long that they die, but enough that, um... You know, they, uh... Just sort of space out, and you're good. One less person to worry about for a bit. So that was three actions. Let's check morale again. We're... okay. I'm gonna get more wood. Got five. Should I cook? Let's cook. Enough cooked for everyone, so that's good stuff. So let's put that food. Marvin ate yesterday, I think. And everyone else gets a nice meal. And uh, let's hunt tonight. Let's hope you really do got this. Three rations. Good stuff. Morale is terrible. So we need to talk to Sarah, Donald twice, and Zaness. And then we can actually do something too. If someone in the group dies, morale will fall drastically. Some of us will be more affected than others depending on who dies. I can work on the radio, but I think it will take about 20 days to get it fixed. I bet you're glad I brought Brandon to the mission now, huh? Yeah, that makes it easier. And... Zaness is the last person to talk to. Just want to check everyone's morale. Yeah, just get everyone up to two at least. And our action for the day. Let's, um... Get food? Or repair? I'm gonna repair. Still a lot of work. Yep. Everyone just gets raw meat today. Food's low, so I'll have Jack hunt again, even though he just did. The doctor.
Taranoff. Yep. Donald is not in good shape. Maybe I can kill him and Sarah and just hang with Jack the whole time? I guess it's possible because Brandon could still repair the radio. Of course the issue is I only have two antidotes. You know, yeah, I'll do it and hope for the best. How's morale now? Jack doesn't care, but Sarah's understandably upset. Jack probably cares little about that. Yeah. Let's, um, cook some food up and then try to calm him down. This, um, totally isn't how i treat you guys if you were, uh, stuck on a nice world with me, by the way. Yeah, it'd all be good. And I thought this was going to be a boring mission. Damn it, Liam, I'll make you pay for this. Yeah, I guess I really don't have to worry about food anymore. Raw for Marvin, cooked for Jack. And let's just chill. Oh Christ, predators tonight. I could make spears so that um, we lose less ammo. But I'm not sure if that's a good use of time when I could instead be talking to Jack and repairing the radio. Let's just work on Jack's morale for now. Is he just gonna repeat that dialogue forever? Lots of talking. for Marvin, cooked for Jack, and rest. Okay, wasted six bullets and our spear, lost six food, how's morale? Jack's okay. Let's, um... I want to say do a few repairs and then work on Jack's morale. Brandon doesn't repair as quickly, only uh, 4% as opposed to 5 per action. But it's cool. Let's do uh, three actions of that, and then talk to Jack twice. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't um, get infected and die. Raw for Marvin. Cooked for Jack. Let's 
Let's cook a bit. Cooking, cooking. Meals. Enough for three days now. Then two repairs and I'm going to talk to Jack twice each day. Too bad the corpses don't stay around. That would be really gruesome and fun. Talking, talking. I should get spears ready too. Let's get uh, raw for Marvin. Yeah. Let's get some information. Jack's okay. We're good on food. Need to get more wood, though. I'm only going to talk to him once today. I think. Oh, only three. I'm going to get uh, spears ready, also. Those bastards were sneaky, but I think I wounded two of them. If we defend ourselves with spears, we'll conserve more ammo when they come for us. Yep. That's why you're gonna make some spears. So, no repairs today. It's three of them. Good stuff. Got a whole arsenal there. So, uh... Yeah, same as always. Raw for Marvin, cooked for Jack. Nothing for us. And relax. Morale is fine. Marvin got infected. So this is day one of the infection. Or one night. He can go through two nights and be fine. So I'll only cure him tomorrow. I guess I don't have to cure him, but it would be bad for Jack's morale. Five spears, so we'd want more. Let's repair that radio. Repair, repair. Talk once. Yeah, he's looking better. Repair once more and then make another thing of spears? Let's do that. Maybe it's better to just let Marvin die and take the morale blow, just because I really need to conserve those antidotes. Yeah, I think that's what I have to do. Because otherwise I'm chancing it too hard. So I'm going to want to get some nice cooked food for Jack. Just so he's not as upset.
two actions. Three actions. I haven't talked to Jack, have I? I don't believe so. So I'm gonna need to do that. Guess we kill Marvin. Jack's probably a bit bummed about me killing his dog. Lost a lot of friends during the war, but for some reason I wasn't prepared to lose Marvin. Live like a soldier, die like one. We have to survive, Jack. Cooked. And rest. How's he doing? Two. We need more wood. Repair twice. More repairs. Talk for a bit. I shouldn't have brought Marvin to Sinesos. Marvin's a soldier like us. His place was on this mission. We have to honor his sacrifice and remember him. Sorry about killing your dog, guy. At least you're, uh, eating like a king, I suppose. Ten days. I hope I'll be able to uh, repair the radio in that time. I think I can. Just need to step the game up. So talk to Jack only once today. of repairs. Talk. Cooked. And rest. Let's cook, do repairs, and talk to Jack. That's the plan. Radio's nearly ready. Poor Marvin to die like this. Sorry, Jack. We'll miss him. Yeah. Little dude was adorbs. You guys didn't see it, but the um, animation for when you defibrillate Marvin in Chapter 3 is really adorable. He's all wriggling about and such. After I was finished playing Chapter 3 for the first time, I went on YouTube and watched dog CPR videos because of that. Because... I don't know. Okay. Moving on. Let's, uh... Yeah, keep resting. 
Jack being in the delicate spot he is, also well Christ. Six morale. Fire isn't good. So, um... We need to add wood. Repair. Repair. Almost done. Talk to Jack with that last action. I should have taken better care of Marvin. He didn't need to die. Yeah, I guess I actually could have used that antidote on him. But... Didn't want to chance it. I guess that's what this game is about in the end. How much you should, uh, chance things just to be able to say you're a good guy. Lost all our spears, but we kept our ammo. And we've still got a good amount of food. Let's finish that radio. Good news, sir. Radio is fixed. And Jack gets four morale points for that. Gonna need wood. Got five. Good stuff. We won't even need that many. Make a spear, Jack. You need a hobby. And I guess we'll just talk to him till the end of the day. Cooked for Jack. And rest up. Six days to go. Jack's feeling good. Fine on food. There really isn't that much to do at this point. Make some more spears in case predators come again. I'm not sure they come more than twice. Maybe it's three times? I don't remember. And let's hunt a bit, why not? You know, there was no reason to do that at all. Let's talk a bit. And... cook a bit more. From here on, I guess, we, uh... just talk to Jack every day or something. It's a nice camping trip, that's what it is. At this point it really is just a camping trip, waiting for the rescue ship to arrive. And hanging with your bro, whose dog you killed. But uh, it's all bygones, right? wood. That's a bit harder now with Sarah gone. Eh? Eh? You get it? Okay. Talk to Jack. 
And just keep talking. Rest up. I feel like I should provide uh, more commentary than just saying what I'm doing in the game. I guess I am, sort of. Let's, um... Uh... No, we have enough food to go the rest of the game. Let's hunt once more, anyway. It's a camping trip, it's gotta be fun. Everyone loves spear hunting. And let's cook a bit too. And after that we just chill. My first time doing this scenario I got through without losing anyone. So, uh... Yeah, I've managed to get worse somehow. Jack's looking hip and happening again, though. Which is good. Everyone rest up. Everyone meaning Jack. Three days. Now yeah, it's just spam talk. Maybe his faith was to die here, so we can endure. It's poetic stuff. At least he died with us on a mission. Damn, why is this affecting me so deeply? Yeah. Takes a while. I saw a uh, TED talk a uh, few days ago. Huh, TED pseudo intellectual and all that. But um, the guy was presenting studies about how fundamentally, no matter what happens to you, it stops having any sort of baseline effect on your happiness after about three months. So, yeah, he'll get over it. He'll get over me. Killing his dog. I guess you could keep a grudge longer than three months, no problem, but, uh. Wouldn't be hurting anymore, at least. Whatever, that's not a particularly fun topic. Let's add some wood. Add some wood to your mom. Burn. Eh? Eh? Nah, that was a crap joke. You know, I've never seen this dialogue before, though, so, uh, that's cool. And rest up. Last day? Jack's probably full morale, isn't he? Yeah. Let's just get a ton of wood today, I don't care. Maybe the rescue ship will be pleased when we give them a whole stockpile of firewood. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, that wood. Fourteen logs. Damn, anyone would be happy with that. Eight 
13 even. Oh, what? I have another action still. Let's bring it up to 23, hopefully. Jack was just looking at me there like, what the hell are you doing? It's cool, man. It's cool. I'm still sane. Split that food. Cooked meal. And rest. For the God's sake, we did it. We're saved. Let's see those stats. That took a while. Attitude has been cruel. Most people were flawless. Yeah. Everyone likes having Jack spear hunt. Sacrificed Marvin, Sarah, Donald. Lots of people sacrificed Sarah. And yeah, no one wants to kill Jack. Deaths. One ran away, three eaten. Most people had running away deaths. Favorite speech was teamwork. Yeah, I guess I gave that speech, huh? And, uh... Quit out of there. Get to menu. I guess I'll show you guys what I have in the gallery for chapter 4. I didn't do all the achievements, so I don't have everything, but, uh... Yeah, we got some crappy designs from the game jam. So this is what everyone originally looked like. I guess they're all pretty similar, except, um... Donald looked quite a bit different. And... Brandon was an alien? Maybe? I don't know. A bit of fan art. And, uh, more fan art. I really like this one. Everyone's looking all... Crazy team. Good stuff. So, um... I suppose that's it for Chapter 4 of Gods Will Be Watching. Hope you guys had a good time, and I hope you never have to shoot your friend's dog.